Alright, just a quick introduction about myself. My name is Jack. Uh, I started in Mapua back in 2010, BSCCE, and I graduated 2017 of February. And uh, yun, just want to share uh, my stories, experiences, and yung mga nakita ko opportunities in college that will allow you as a student to make your own money. This segment of this channel is called Adulting in the Philippines. And here in this show, we talk about topics relating to adulting in the Filipino context. Hope you enjoy the show. First on my list is apply as a student assistant. I have a lot of friends who work sa library, sa mga computer laboratories, and they are getting paid per hour depending kung gaano katagal yung render nilang service at work. Pero syempre, uh, you'll be able to have a schedule kung marami kang vacant slots sa schedule mo. So, ayun, it depends on how your schedule permits you to work. Number two on my list is writing engineering lettering. I remember there was a time na kailangan namin magsulat ng 50 pages of engineering lettering. And instead na isulat namin yung buong 50 pages na yun, we look for someone or some students na pwedeng magsulat para sa amin. Para yung time namin, we'll be able to devote sa pag-review ng ibang exams namin, ibang quizzes namin. So, yun, ah... Uh, you may want to take those opportunities para to make some income. Number three on my list is doing prototypes. Uh, madaming students na hindi gumagana yung prototype nila even if they have the right schematics. So, might as well uh, grab the opportunity especially if you already made a working prototype and instead just charge them with the amount of money na tingin mo will be worth your time and effort in making yung prototype para sa kanila. Number four is sell a product. Sell a tangible product. I have friends who made food and there was a time na yung usap pa yung red velvet cake. I have a friend who supplies red velvet cake. Meron din ang friend na nagbebenta ng leche flan. And yun, uh, I suggest use your skills, your talents. Take advantage of what you can do. And for my own personal story, I was able to sell shirts back in college. And yun, we were able to partner with an org. And with that, I was able to finish college and graduate with 50,000 savings on top of what I say before that. I know there's a lot more things na magagawa mo in today's age, in this digital age na wala sa listahan ko. And I would really appreciate if you could share your ideas, your thoughts on this topic in the comment section down below. Alright, that's it for this video. I'm out. If you enjoy watching this episode, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. I'll be releasing this kind of content every second and fourth week of the month. That's all I have for now. Hope you got something meaningful from this episode. Goodbye and have a great day.